Take a look at these photos. This is Avery Slatcher in the hospital after she was stabbed outside of Pinecrest High School. She was stabbed more than 20 times. Nearly a year later, she's ready to share her recovery journey and what she remembers about that terrifying morning. Only on WRAL, Carly Haynes joins us outside of Pinecrest High in Southern Pines with her story. And we're at the school where it happened. We stopped at the courthouse a little earlier today to look up some records. The suspect is still awaiting trial nearly a year later. Meanwhile, Avery Slatcher has made significant strides in her recovery, though some things will stay with her forever. If you saw what happened to Avery Slatcher a year ago, you'd find it hard to believe she'd be in her living room today, able to explain what happened to her. For a long time, it felt like things were never going to be the same, like there's no way that I could ever go back to the life that I had before this happened. Before Slatcher fought for her life in the parking lot of her high school. Stabbed more than 20 times, investigators say, by her former boyfriend. Her dad, Matthew Slatcher, remembers getting the phone call. She had wounds to both legs, um, both sides of her body, her back, the top of her head, and then she had some smaller wounds on her arms where she had tried to protect and defend herself. Slatcher lost consciousness and was airlifted to UNC Hospital. She spent 16 days there. Today, she's back on her feet. The one has permanent nerve damage. The injuries, however, go deeper than physical wounds. My trust is something I'm still working on, like anxiety, things like that, trying to get back to where I was before. It's hard to figure out how do you navigate life, right? Like it's a life altering event. Support carried Slatcher through. She looks at life a new way. It's a second chance. Every day I am able to be here still and spend time with my family and that could have been taken away from me so easily. The suspect is currently at Moore County Detention Center. He's charged with attempted first degree murder, among other very serious charges. His next court appearance will be April 22nd. Carly Haynes, WRL News, Southern Pines.